Yes, you read that right, $160 Fujifilm kit. If you are new to the channel, my name is Andre Dima, I'm a professional travel photographer and today we will talk about a budget option for street and travel photography I would use myself if I didn't want to spend a lot of money on the latest gear. I think we've been spoiled in the past years with a lot of new gear, but that also drove the prices up. And buying newly released cameras and lenses is a big investment, and not all people want to invest thousands of dollars on gear or use them professionally. Here in Valencia where I live, in the most touristic places, 90% of the people using a camera to take photos and not a phone use a budget camera. You rarely see someone with the latest and greatest. The most Fujifilm cameras I've seen around Valencia are XE2s and XT2s. So if you're an enthusiast, just starting out as a photographer with the lowest budget or just want to have fun, this setup is for you. Let's start with the camera. You can buy a Fujifilm XM1 with just $100, used, in a decent condition. The first time I got the Fujifilm XM1, I was mind blown how small this camera is compared to my Fujifilm X-T4, and this makes it a great option for travel and street photography. It has a tiltable screen that most Fujifilm cameras lack, and this type of screen is my favorite for photography. I would love this on an X-Pro body. This is perfect when you go to certain locations in your travels and need to shoot from above or low. I think the tiltable screen compensates for the lack of an EVF. Yes, it doesn't have an EVF because it is a budget model, but the screen is bright enough to see even in bright light. I used it here in Valencia, Spain, where most days are sunny and had no problem using it, because it has this cool little feature where you press this button and it brightens the screen to maximum, so you can see better. Keep it pressed again and it's back to normal. For a budget camera, this one is quite customizable. You can change the functions of the back wheel and the top right one. Also, you have a function button where you can add different functions. Another great thing about this camera is that you can shoot RAW plus JPEG. It doesn't have most of Fujifilm's film simulations, but the option to shoot RAW gives you the option to edit photos as you want in post. You have the Auto ISO option that I find very useful and the Dynamic Range option. In short, you select from Dynamic Range 100, 200 or 400 and the camera will save your highlights. The photos will be a bit noisier, but not overexposed. I made a full video about this feature that you can find and watch on my channel. For an old Fujifilm camera that costs only 100 bucks, it is packed with features. You can even add some film simulation recipes on it from Fuji X Weekly. It is one of the few Fujifilm cameras to have a 16 megapixel X-Trans 1 sensor. Only the X-Pro1 and XC1 used this sensor. 16 megapixels is enough resolution for today's social media sharing and for some small prints. The color science of the Fujifilm X-M1 is just amazing. The colors you get with this camera are warmer and sometimes quite magic. Perfect for street and travel photography. It also records a decent 1080p, 30 frames per second video. Almost forgot about the small pop-up flash that can come in handy for some cool karaoke shots. And now let's pair this with the best cheap lens you can buy for a Fujifilm camera. The lens I praised so many times on this channel, the TT Artisan 35mm f1.4. You can find this new with a discount for just 60 bucks, or second hand for less than 50. Look at this, it looks like this lens was made for this camera. The TT Artisan 35mm f1.4 is so compact for an f1.4 lens. I'm going to keep it short because I already made an in-depth review of this lens. It is very well built and has a nice smooth finish. The aperture ring makes a nice click when you change the aperture and it is very well dampened. The focus ring moves smoothly and accurately when used. 
Yes, this is a manual lens, but believe me, it is very easy to use. I like using manual lenses because every time you get home and you see your nailed focus on your favorite photos, the satisfaction is bigger. The image quality that this budget lens can give you is impressive. It is sharp in the center starting from f1.4 and from f4 it is razor sharp corner to corner. Some people complained about its sharpness but that is a quality control problem. The f1.4 aperture is perfect for the XM1 in low light. It has a capable sensor, but it is old and an f1.4 aperture makes a difference in low light and when you want to separate your subject from the background. I know phones these days mimic background blur, but they still look fake. This budget-friendly kit will give you better results. The photos coming out of this combo are just amazing. The color science of the x 1 sensor gives photos an almost film-like look and when you pair that with the great optics of the Tete Artisan 35mm f1.4 you get some beautiful results for just $160. And let's not forget the compactness of this kit. Overall, I would recommend this to anyone that is not afraid to use manual focus. And if you are, trust me, in a couple of days you will get over it once you see the photos you can get with this $160 Fujifilm kit. I hope this video was helpful. If it was, please like and subscribe. And if you want to support me even more, watch this video from start to finish. Check out my presets pack or buy me a coffee. See you next time.